Oh my, one character wants to just get in, get the grabs, get the combos. Another character's just gonna be like, nah, you don't get to play. You don't get to actually approach me, deal with all my Pikmin. So I think that's gonna be the actual set. Like, it's like, okay, Master Mario is gonna try to get through all these Pikmin, start his combos, and I'm just gonna be like, nah, you don't get to do that. Like, aggressive versus defensive. There mm -hmm. you go. Yeah. I mean, what I've seen Master Mario do against all the Mars in general is just that when they are doing up B, if they're not going to the ledge, just reading, like, the landing there or whatever they do afterwards to try and keep up this advantage state and just to get more percent and, you know, eventually kill this very light character. We're going to have to see how this goes down, though. All right, we're starting off on uh, Smashville. Oh, yeah, yeah, the new Smashville. <laughs> oh, good whistle. Yeah, but this is... <laughs> He's still taking mad damage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, jab lock. Ooh, yo, Master Mario. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, he can he's armor good. through it, but he's still in that bad positioning, and he was forced at the ledge, so he's able to still continue that uh, combo. That was clean. Hey, I mean, Mario still has uh, some solid hitboxes, too, just to be able to get the Pikmin off of him. Oh, damn, he called out that roll so bad. He got mind game so bad, dude. That was yeah. crazy. I mean, jab, jab into, what are you going to do? <laughs> and then he just rolls. And yeah, I was, was able to read that, that from the Oh, away. my God, he destroyed that pick. I'm just scared to get in the texture situation now because he's doing game jab. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> yep. Yo. <laughs> All right. I'm, I don't... I'm pretty sure Master oh Mario's beat my hip at least once. I, now that I, I, what I've seen. <laughs> I think he's just saying I'm not losing you anymore. Sick of, sick of your character. Sick of you walling me out with these Pikmin. Just get down there. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I'm him's not really been able to play his game too much. I mean, he's, oh Master God. Mario's been able to enter his zone too many times and continuously just waits for the whistle and continues that combo afterwards. He's already put I'm hip in kill percent. Yo, I'm, I'm hip is in a really bad spot, dude. I, this has just been the Master Mario show, to be honest. All right, let's see how I'm oh, hip finally gets in. Throw. Yeah. Wasn't even hit. was it blue pickup? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Blue up throw, always coming in clutch when you're at kill percent. But he's still got to do a lot of work to bring this one back. Oh, thought he would roll. Still has not the ledge. No, all the pick been hitting him up. Ooh. That's a lot of damage. Yeah. Oh! Doesn't cover the tech, but he got the down smash out in time. He just needs one good read. Like one up smash, one dare in the air, catches jump, something like that. But as long as he doesn't oh, yeah, fish, but, but it looks like I'm hip is you taking are, advantage you of that. You always gotta remember, this character Olimar damage output is insane. So you mess up just once, you're taking mad damage, probably gonna die. Yeah. Purple up smash? Yeah. Not sure quite yet I like that use of the cape. It is a consistent hitbox, so gonna be able to send them into tumble, get something going. Oh, we got the up air, so. I wonder if you can still reflect the his magic attacks with the cape. I think you can, it's considered a projectile. Cause, yeah, if you can still do that, that might actually be really good. In this oh, the snipe, bang, Monique from deep. Yep. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> now, oh, wow, let me just spin on him real quick. T-pose. I love the, <laughs> I love the finishing animation on that move. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. He just needed one good uh, conversion, and the dare was all he needed to kill all of Mario. I mean, he's still light. So, and the, and the nice thing about Mario is that he has some nice he has a nice height to fight Olimar, So his hitboxes aren't just gonna go over him or anything like that. So he can really start up what he needs to. That was really good for Master Mario. He actually didn't let him hit really do what he wanted to do. And usually when I see him play against uh, Almar, it's not that good for him. So, it's good to see him, you know, getting better in the matchup. Yeah, getting better in general, man. That's my Oh, my God. Oh, falling down to the jab. Oh. Oh, he went past him. I don't think he wanted that dash attack. Yeah, I don't think so either. My brother might have wanted, like, a down tilt or something like that. Oh, he just jabbed him. Oh, I thought that was going to be another one. I thought he was going to just do up air and fair again. Oh, jab mix up is so good. <laughs> jab in general is actually really good for his arm mark because mm -hmm. once he's in the air from jab, he can't really fall down with anything. Right. All Ooh. right, four throw. Gets rid of a yellow Pikmin too in the process. What's the ledge option going to be this oh, time? Tries to pick him up with the down tilt. How does the neutral get up get through the down tilt? Oh, it's moving so well. 
Wow, oh, back here destroyed two Pikmin. That's great. Yeah. Just blue Pikmin. I mean, if he can't touch the ground and can't pluck, there we go. He's going to be able to get a white and a purple this time. Oh, that's like the best lineup. So good. White damage, purple, damage and kill, blue throw kill. Yep. So good. Let's see how Master, Master Mario's been playing his game still this uh, the, the second game. It's just that I'm hip to be able to get those a uh, little bit of tick damage here and there a little bit better on this stage. So let's see if Master Mario with his aggression is still able to take the first kill or if I'm hip is going to find a quick reversal soon. That's just pretty really smart around the Pikmin as well. He's like realizing he doesn't need to just run in blindly and get like blown up. So he's playing really patient around the lineup that uh, I'm hip has. Oh, good shield pressure though. I like how he's being very patient too. It's like if he gets hit by a Pikmin, it's fine. Like as long as I like, get that back air just to be able to knock it off me, then it's not really gonna be not gonna matter too much on what percent yeah. I am. As long as I get this stock lead, but Masamaru's not quite oh, finding it, and just like that, yeah, it gets reversal. Gonna get that blue Pikmin bump throw. Hey, I'm in for the first stock. Oh, was he? <laughs> he just walked in his face and waited. I'm surprised he didn't punch the spot dodge with F smash or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, jab locks? Nice. Damn, that did so much damage. Oh my yeah. god. Continued off that tech chase afterwards, put him into tumble with that uh, smash attack and still able to get a little bit more damage. And this is the hard part once you're in deficit mode. Yeah. How do you get the Olimar to come to you? Yeah, this is when Olimar is the strongest, honestly. Because now he just gets to hang back and pull the pick when he wants. Oh, good up smash attack. Sure, though. Yeah. I'm surprised I reached. Mm -hmm. All right, Master Mario's trying to get something started here, but again, he's behind, so he has to be the one to approach. Good for Sit here, though. The whistle under the Mario combo, but oh! Good damage. He's gonna map the ledge. Oh! That neutral game was so risky, but power shield. Ooh! Whistle, oh, yeah. crucial whistle, honestly. I think that might have been the death. Though. Yeah, it probably would have, but I think it's gonna be able to survive that just fine. But again, just these Pikmin tosses are doing a good job of keeping I'm Hip still in this game. You oh. can tell he just went for it right oh, there. I am, or excuse me, Master Mario trying to go for some kind of roll read or something, but it didn't quite work out there. Yeah. Oh. Wow, oh, that Nero is so brave. I thought he was going to get up smash. Oh, doesn't cover the roll again. He's got two purples on deck. You gotta be very careful with the ledge. My is playing patiently though. Nice back there. That was so well timed. Yeah, I think he just caught like a drop shield or something like that. Maybe try to carry something to make it back in. I'm trying to even it up real quick though. Sky watching again, man. These purples. No, I really like the jab blocks from the side. Dude. So good. Mm -hmm. Already got 60%. Oh, Master Mario trying to find oh. some kind of block stream. Wow. Makes it work there, actually. Yeah, he's been punishing that forward smash on shield with uh, up smash pretty consistently. Mm -hmm. Gonna be sent off stage. Let's see what Master Mario tries to do. Oh, just runs up and grabs him. Gonna be able to get some damage going. He's trying to stay under Almar as long as he can. I'm gonna go get back to the ground safely, though. Oh! Oh man, this is a really good lineup here. You gotta be so careful to avoid these setups, but good streak. Okay, back at the ledge yet again. Oh my god, how is he neutral getting that? Oh my god, I don't, I don't know how he's getting past that. Neither do I. I mean, there is only one frame of vulnerability, but at the same time, he's using consistent long-lasting hitboxes that... Oh, oh no! Oh my god, I can't believe it. He had no jump. He was so dead. The snipe from deep again. First prop, of all, I was prop, like, wow, you lived that? And then he just died. So. Props I'm hit for still tossing that Pikmin <laughs> to make sure that he was dead. Yeah. If, I, I feel like if I was playing and I saw the lightning come out and it was a purple Pikmin, I'd be like, oh yeah, he's dead. <laughs> and then I would just I, let him go for free. I thought he was dead. But he DI'd it, used his double jump, and then I'm like, all right, no jump. Mm -hmm. Side All right, 1-1. One, one. The adjustments kind of made there from I'm hit. Coming back from a pretty dominating game one. Yep. Uh, that's Mario, I would say. Running it back to PS2. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's still a really good stage for both players. I'm just surprised that you let your uh, opponent go to stage if they won mm -hmm. already. Yeah. We'll see. 
trying to put pressure. I'm going to get to the corner here, but no, he's going to jab his way out of there. Combo. He's not going to commit to a fair. Tries to wait for a different option instead. Yeah, I think he was trying to bait out the whistle, but... So, keeping him at the ledge. Really good damage there so far. Oh, that's nice. He's not finding their mark. Yeah. I mean, it only takes one to take the stock away, so it, it, it'll come eventually. Okay, so he does still get the cape of... Uh, Smash attacks. There's some cape the forward smash there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe everything is considered a projectile for Olimar, unless it's like his nair or something like that. So that's a that's one advantage at least. Oh, oh man, he's in such a rough spot now. He's taking so much damage from the Pikmin. And the items getting really comfortable in the center stage. Oh, yeah, there's a purple on deck as well. Oh. oh, okay, he still caught the landing. Mm -hmm. I thought that was really smart. He baited the double jump, or he's, he, he, he baited a jump out of shield, and then tried to go for that, and then still caught him trying to come back into the stage with that pivot for his match. Really smart. Covering a lot of options that Master Mario's trying to get back with. Oh, still let me catch that one. He's back on stage with the back throw. Oh, finally got the neutral get up. I'm surprised. That one connected, but he's really learned the same exact like, time as before, but... Like I said, man, it only takes one. <laughs> oh, no double jump. Yeah, ah. he's out of there. That was, that was really quick uh, response from my mid. Slide him around the jump and immediately hit him out of the air. Oh, oh, air string. And he yeah. got the really good line here with the purple end. Yeah. Yeah. Already got him on 63%, and I mean, Master Mario has got to get like a crazy death combo to get things started here. Yeah, honestly, uh, I'm just been playing aggressively in these two, it's working out really well for him. Oh, Ooh, great tech, tech though. Yeah. Again, I mean, with that crazy dare, showing that he's not very lost. Just run up jab. What's the option going to be? Throws out a fireball, keeps him at the ledge. He's going to get able to catch that jump too. Really a fairy guard center stage, but chase them down. Oh. Wait. Oh, no, it wasn't anything to get him attack. Mm -hmm. I think he was thinking that, okay, if I don't hold shield, maybe he'll go for it. And uh, I guess it was a double mind game there. I just decided to go for it anyway. Back the ledge again. I hit. Every time he gets to center stage, he just has. Trying to get the perfect lineup he wants. Mm -hmm. I mean, the difficult part of this scenario is that one good hit from anything from my hip will basically take the stock, and then Master Mario has two to deal with. So yeah. he's got to play really well to be able to try and take this game. Otherwise, it's a little bit of a difficult scenario to come back from. I just think it's crazy how patient I'm just playing, even though he has such a big advantage. Mm -hmm. Not enough knockback yet. Uh, good stuff from I'm Hip, just uh, keeping up the survivability and gets that tech in. That's the purple on deck, but he's just walking back. He just wants to whip play or something. Yeah, he's looking for it. Yeah, he just try to find a pivot for smash, catch that back air as he lands or something like that. But he's not quite finding it. He's, he's treating this like a last stock scenario. Yeah. Even though he still has another stock to work with here. That's oh. it. Spot dodged the grab and he just threw him in the air. Two stock from I'm hit. Maintaining his advantage really well that game. Yep. Yeah, he's playing super patient. Like, that just goes to show, like, you saw that first game, that, uh, how it went for Master Mario, and he's just like, all right, I'm going to respect this guy. I'm going to treat every stock I have like it's my last stock. Mm -hmm. Not going to give him any chances for any openings. So let's see. Is uh, Master Mario going to be able to bring this one to a game five, or is this the download complete for Mario? I mean, he had a pretty solid lead that entire game, basically. But, I mean, this is how he won that first game. He just got in and started a really big combo. Already getting 46%, and he's not done yet. Still gets those up airs, armors right through it, back in neutral. Yeah, honestly, uh, it might... I, I, or Master Mario might have to just set up his combos in a way that... Oh, wow. <laughs> I was gonna say like bait out the whistle with his combos instead, but still got the first kill anyway. Yeah. I mean the first combo that he did. Oh wow, he he went really far, even though it was just the uh, like his first or second hit of up Well, it's uh, it's, 
It's gonna take some some uh, really good patience for Master Mario to work with the sleepy eyes. I mean, from the way he's playing, it looks like he wants to extend the lead rather than trying to maintain it. Which I think is nice because, I mean, you're pretty much going to get guaranteed damage from Olimar anyway. Might as well try to make the most out of it while you still have the stock advantage. Yeah. Oh, man. Let's get the jab off. Mm -hmm. Still, I can get That was a really good nair, though, because he waited up the list. So got a punish. Oh, caught him. Good jump. Man. All right. Uh, 65, not too bad for Master Mario. Oh, and he still has him at the ledge, so... Keep him there. Probably get another stop. Oh, uh, attack. Yeah, yeah. attacks are way better in this game. Mm -hmm. Trying to scoop him up with that down tilt. Hit the caught him that he was hanging at the ledge, but I'm in with the right timing. Oh, gets that chase into an up smash, wow. and that actually takes it. Yeah, I couldn't tell from the uh, animation if they killed or not, but dang, just enough. I was really good for Master Mario. Oh, the stop only took 18. Oh, I hit. wish I, I wish Olimar had like a, a yell when he gets star KO'd, but he you know he's just silent. Yeah. Oh man, nice setup from the fireball, but doesn't get the sweet spot F smash still. Really strong uh, setup here for Master Mario. Yeah, looking like he wants to take this to a game five. I mean, the big part of this game was that he got that big combo at the beginning, and it just was hard for uh, Master, or excuse me, I'm him to bring it back after that. Oh, the That's spin it. now that he's not, not enough, but it's so close. That's Another it? One. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay. I was about to be really mad if that didn't kill the second time around. Yeah. Yeah, this, this is a strong kill move in this game. It was actually pretty strong in Smash 4 too, but way better in this game. Mm -hmm. Alright, game five. Uh, are they gonna have to PS2? I feel like it might hit might want to count. Should probably pick. change yeah. it, yeah. Let's see where he wants to go, though. That's the main question. I feel like Iron Hip is also the first seed in this tournament, too. So this will be pretty good for Master Mario if he's able to take this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, did they go Yoshi's Island? Oh, that's such a really that's a really good Olimar stage. Right. But uh, I feel like it's hard to avoid it because they can go FD. Let's see how this works. Yeah, playing on the slants is really good for Olimar. Like, you can just position his hitboxes right there, and it's, like, really hard to get away from, honestly. Right. I think the platform's good for him, too, because you want to jump to get over his hitboxes, but you get stuck on the platform, and next thing you know, like, he's under you, throwing, like, a smash up there, etc. Yeah. I know people sometimes think, when they think small stages, like, oh, okay, I can, I can rush down the, the zoner character, but at the same time, it's like, okay, this projectile reaches across this entire stage, so yeah. what are you going to oh, do about that? Uh, yeah. this, al this also has the smallest black uh, blast zones, both vertically and horizontally. So you can potentially some some really early kills here. Neither of them quite losing them yet, but that back air with Monique yeah, yeah. should be able to do it. Really good stuff. I am taking the first stock. Yeah, we've seen already. I mean, I is, uh, or when Mazumaro is able to get the first stock, he does really well. But when he's gonna have to fight from behind, I'm just doing such a good job of keeping the lead. Oh! That's, that that's, was. That's, that's some new technology. That was clean. He actually used the sign of the edge like perfectly to get that distance on the nair. That was crazy. Yeah, I've never seen that before. Yeah, I've yeah. never seen that. E well, I don't really see people go to the stage to be perfectly honest, but yeah, that worked out just fine for, for Master. Yeah, that was good too because I'm mean, been working with his lead incredibly well, but he just instantly evened it up. Back on the ledge yet again. That's Mario's trying to apply so much pressure. Doing a really good job here. Big damage! Oh man, but it's all about got that recovery still. Yeah. Back at the ledge again, the down is gonna scoop him up this time. I just try to get something started. Wants to get back in the driver's seat, but that's not doing a good job keeping the disadvantage, but does get the picture at the ledge. Oh the cave! The that's cave Mario. on the first <laughs> not saying, yo, I, I know you're gonna go for my landing here. Yeah, Master Mario's been making some really big plays, both with his combos and just how he maintains advantage state. Cape, very unique way to do it, and he just caught I'm hip trying to press buttons and bring him back into the advantage state, and that worked out very nicely for him. He's gonna get caught at the ledge here, but let's see if he can try to maintain back into neutral. I'm hip lets it go, finally, yeah. Still took a lot of percent. I'm, I'm just showing he can play very patiently, even though he's behind, so. Now Mario can't really get too complacent with the lead he has. As long as he gives I'm hip openings, he can definitely bring it back. Really good lineup here for I'm hip. Catch the jump. Back up 
the ledge. Oh, that purple was so scary. Thought he would jump there so he could catch the dagger, but Master Mario played patient. Oh, big damage. Whistles uh, through the pressure there. Could have gotten a grab of that back there, a uh, cinnamon tumble. Getting a lot of back here, and some good damage. Not able to get hit by that forward smash. I'm hit getting a little greedy on that charge. Probably tried to wait out the cape or something like that that time around, but Master Mario just content to hold shield there. Yeah, the cave is like putting the fear in the I'm here just because he knows if he goes too aggressive, that can just backfire on him. <laughs> you can tell Master Mario's trying to figure out a way to close out this stock. Got that wall jump into the back air. That was so risky if you space it into a pivot force smash. That would have been it for Master oh. Mario. But he still got oh, yeah, really good positioning. Oh my god! Oh man, Dash attacks him off the level. He's back at the ledge yet again. Oh, calls out the jump, and that's it. Woohoo!